Hello, 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 my loves. Here is the official video about my Steve Hardison experience. The ultimate coach, or also called the $200,000 coach. I am so happy to have you and I'm excited for you to listen to this. Hello, dear angel. This is my all-in-one Steve Hardison experience video. I have had a couple of videos and I decided to make one video with anything that matters to me that has mattered and give you like a status before um, so you kind of get all of it <laughs> this is not a video for you to be impressed by N neither steve partisan surely not by me um, nothing that i say is anything that i want you to pursue or it's the right way of, or good all those things i'm just sharing anything that is my experience and um, yeah, I just want to invite you to keep an open mind, heart and let out your curiosity to see what you might want to take for yourself, about yourself and your being from that video. And if you have any questions, I always love to answer them. Okay, who am I? I'm Hannah Augenstein. Some of you might know this, some not. There are always a lot of people curious about Steve Hardison, uh, listening to so many people who have had conversations with him um, and learning from those experiences. And so you might don't know me, which is perfectly fine. Um, I am a senior coach. I train since, or I coach since 15 years, and I train coaches since many years, helping them, serving them to become their own best coach. And I have built my own six figure business with that. Um, I have done it without any social media reach. I always say when you build a social, when you build a business, you can focus on two of the th things to, you know, create financial success. In the one hand, this is social media reach, community. Um, and so that might take you a bit longer. I have no idea because I haven't done it. I have zero social media reach. I have never focused on it. I now start to enjoy the thought of a bigger community. So it uh, might be something that is going to happen. That's not for this video. But the other thing, and it is what I did, uh, is to focus on one-on-one -on -one clients and one-on-one -on -one coaching because this is my truthful and honest and very deep passion and is just like coaching has chosen me. I am doing this basically since I'm 16. I'm now 37. And ever since I'm self-employed, it has been like this for me um, because my passion always would make me to show up, to show up for myself, for my clients, and to really pursue this path. So now you have a little idea on this person. And I, oh, well, for the context, I must also say that I'm the breadwinner of my family. I provide for my family um, as since 2015. And my husband is a flute crafter and his flute company is now in its second year, I would say, and they're doing quite well. Um, so yeah, that is just something that I'm really proud of, that Jacob is now able to, you know, pursue his own passion in his own pace and that I could manage to provide for anything that our family needed let it be the rent, the groceries, like anything. And why that matters um, is I have grown up in really, really poor circumstances. I mean, there are always, I have lived in India for a year and in Nepal in the jungle for nine months. So they are definitely so much worse situation. Um, but it was just a normal situation for me to not have food. Um, so our fridge was empty. I have four siblings and there was constant trouble in our home and it was just a normal situation that um, I would go to a neighbor and ask for a bit of money or if they would have left any groceries so we could prepare some lunch. And as this was a normal situation, it was also normal that when we actually wanted to buy groceries and we had a filled car, cart with, you know, milk and fruit and stuff, that at the cashier we got a declined bank card and so we couldn't take the groceries home. All this has been so stuck in my mindset and within me and it really matters when it comes to the Steve Hardison situation. So 
before I had my conversation with Steve Hardison, I have had already years of successful coaching and my business and I have a beautiful assistant who is with me since years and she, like I have I I'm so blessed this is what I want to say I'm just so blessed with how my business went how it still is doing um how the people that I found who support me with my business no matter if this is my amazing Sophie my assistant my clients my husband who uh, helps me with some uh, book holding stuff I don't even know if that's the right word but like bookkeeping I think it's bookkeeping um so there is a lot of help that I have for my business but the situation I found myself in when I reached out to Steve Hardison was the deep fear of not being able to provide so at that point as i said i have had already years of providing for my family only from my one-on-one -on -one coaching like nothing else the whole income has been there to provide and i so you could now think that but hannah you have all those years of experience how you can hold your family financially and but I found myself like twice or thrice a year I found myself in that deep fear of not being able of of not being able to provide that my daughter would not be okay that she would have to make the same experience as I would have to make and a day before I reached out to Steve and before we had our conversation um I have being at a grocery store and I wanted to pay and I experienced a situation that traumatized or that re-traumatized me deeply but as I'm I consider myself very stable emotionally very stable person so I haven't been fallen apart but it has been really tough um, I wanted to pay and my card didn't went through, so it, it got declined. Um, and of course, the my whole body went into freeze. I somehow managed to pay cash. I had the cash with me I, and it wasn't a lot, but that really doesn't matter because what matters, um, I missed to uh, move money, which usually would be automatic, but ever since we changed something, we just missed to set it on automation again. So I missed to send my income from my business account to my private account. So my card was, there was just, it was just empty at that point. And I found myself deeply traumatized within that grocery store, um, being somehow able to pay in cash and, and moving to like moving my body walking towards home it's a three minutes walk but I have been so deeply in that fear that she my daughter and my husband and I myself would have to undergo again what I have been through and that is the absolute last thing that I ever want for myself for others for my daughter and so what I did um I reached out to Steve and we had our conversation and this conversation anchored me so much back into who I am. So Steve Hardison, if you're watching this, I just want to say from my heart, thank you so much. Um, this has been such a reset to the responsibility of being me and the seeing who I am and the understanding. Um, and he over and over said, what if you if you put a an, an apple seed into the soil, into the earth, will there be will there be like avocados then or will there be will there grow some roses or what will there be? And of course, if you plant a mango seed or an apple seed, <laughs> I mix it up. If you, if you plant apple seeds, there will be an apple tree, of course, right? So 
to understand this has been life changing for me because it has got me out of my of my trauma situation. Of course, there was some more healing work to it. Um, I have after I went home, I I took a lot of time to breathe and to stimulate my vagus nerve in order to not freak out and in order to I don't know to be who I am but the conversation with Steve really was a game changer into really coming back to the roots of my being and so this has been absolutely amazing absolutely reactivating igniting through my core and just a few days after um he just called me and said hey i just want you to let you know i love you and that's it like we hang up and i don't know but somehow this really was a soothing layer to all the trauma that i have been through in the past and just before i had my conversation with beef so And somehow I'm also speechless about all those things, but there is so much more to it because even my husband who, uh, who didn't, he's not into coaching. He is a flute crafter. He's into music. Um, and he, uh, at that time, uh, read, was listening to the audiobook of Steve Hardison. And he, after the conversation that I had with Steve, he somehow got also activated because of course I was sharing everything with him. Um, and we have been dreaming of another, of, of a bigger flat. We had like two small rooms. We loved the flat, but we really dreamed of having another flat. And ever since we moved to Freiburg, there was this very cute flat with a huge garden, maybe the biggest garden in this whole area we are living in. Um, and they have like this little bridge in it. It's like a wooden bridge in this sweet little garden, or it's not even little, it's quite big. Um, and yeah, the flat has been always in, we could see the flat from our balcony. And so we were dreaming of one day moving into a flat like this, but somehow we told ourselves that it could never be this flat. We were walking by every day seeing it, but somehow we told ourselves that this flat for sure is owned by the house owners and it will, you know, like it's just no option somehow. And my husband got so activated after the situation, after conversation that I have with, have had with Steve. So he went to the house uh, and he, no, there wasn't, there was a, um, uh, how to say, it? there was this, announcement online that there was a flat free in the house where also this flat is and my husband was like oh my god uh, even like it's it will not be that flat he was like for sure not but even if it's a bigger flat that could be ours and so he went he he called and they said no it's like it's gone there there is no flat and my husband was like okay, I'm so activated by this Steve Hardison thing right now. I'm going to go there in person and see what, like, if there is anything. And he met this woman and he was like, yeah, I do. Well, yeah, he, here, um, I really uh, uh, want to have, we really want to move. And we read there was a free flat here. And I know it's already given, but if you hear anything, let me know. And she was like, oh, no, I don't know anything, but I'm going to write your number down. And so she did. And he was like, yeah, there is nothing, but let's see. And just a day after, a woman called us and she said, um, yeah, you know, we have like, I, I'm renting my flat and if you want, you can come over. I invited already six families, people, whoever, however, to, to see it, but I want you to see it. I feel that I want you to see it. So we came over, it's just like one minute, right? And we came over and I freaked out because guess what? It was the flat. 
uh, with the garden and we walked in and there was this woman who said no I don't know anything but she wasn't allowed to say that the that the flat would be free because the owner was not sure yet um, if she wanted to have other people because she already invited a lot but yeah she fell into it and she felt she has to call us so we are in this flat knowing that six to seven other people families however want this flat um and we were like not allowing ourselves all the joy that we felt but we really were like yeah we are going to have this flat it was a lot more financially that we have or that i have paid before in the other flat but it was no like no question out of question and so we said please we really want this we really would love to move in three days later we saw all the people that came like that she already said they can come over but some of them i i believe lived across like far more far from the flat than of course we we were neighbors um and so we we would see other people um seeing the flat um walking through the garden and the flat and we we're like oh my god please let it be us right um because she already agreed to let them see all the let, let all the people see the flat but three days later she called us and she said i want you to move in and that's it like that's that's also a steve hardison activation we got the flat this is my office in the flat just the office for me before we had no space at all for our office so my office was behind the bed which is fine it's perfect but of course this feels so much better and i have my private clients here who are living more close to me so this is just amazing and we go even further because it's not ending here my whole Steve Hardison conversation is not ending here um I have um when you read the book when you listen when you when you're familiar with his work um then you know that there is this what is called the document <clears throat> which is a result of um you seeing who you truly are and writing it down and i believe there are plenty of methods to it but that doesn't matter right now so it's like state statements of yourself and in the book he gives a few examples and his own so steve if you're listening to this i really i love your document it's just so beautiful in each word and i really felt um that I have been coming across this kind of work really often, um, but never with this commitment that he has for himself and of course for his clients. So I sat down and I wanted to to credit for myself. And I had also sessions with other coaches, um, long-term clients who worked with Steve Hardison for decades, um, helping me with that. And it was definitely touching and deep. Um, but somehow it, I don't want to say it didn't work for me, but it didn't reach me to the point, to the core that I felt is needed and desired by me. And so I just let it sit for a while. And when I, one day when I stood in silence with myself and I just connected to the universe, to God, to the divine, um, I got a full download on a somatic experience method that would allow myself to anchor into who I am and not only that but it provides um, an activation of the nervous system and of the vagus nerve that allows yourself to have a felt sense experience which is required in my point of view to come to a point where you're not just faking to be something or someone but really coming from um, an aligned place within you and not just suppressing your shadows or suppressing the trauma that you've had to endure and all those things right and so the the infinite shift is what's the name of this um, method that I received was a true blessing and Steve Hardison thank you so much for anything that you've done for me for my family I don't know but this method is just 
it's just so divine and I started to use it daily for myself and then I started to do it with my clients and then in groups and then I uh, um, created a training and there are already the world's first JS practitioners certified and all those things so it has become a whole incredible healing movement which I'm so thankful for and I'm still using it for myself and this is by the way my own dedication as a result of TAS um, really like there is so much there are tears in it there is inner shifts in it there is the core of TAS is that it provides my truth only so it's not just the opposite of what I thought about when I'm like, oh, I am too much. It's not just that I write down, I am perfect as I am. No, there is a whole core identity behind this method that I think is uniquely powerful. And I don't know um, if I would have been, you know, confident enough to really use this technique, technique not just for myself, if I would not have endured the situation. Um, being able to have my own conversation with Steve Hardison. And I also went to London to see uh, um, myself, basically. It was the event, um, the Ultimate Coach Experience event with Steve Hardison and a lot of other beautiful people. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my words here because it, it's just so much and I really wa want to give you the keys here and not to lose myself into one of the the next story but seeing Steve Hardison was a very special moment for me and not because of Steve himself well it's for sure part of it but we were in this lobby so the event hasn't started yet the lobby is crowded full of the most beautiful most glowing people I've ever saw just heartwarming all eager to see themselves and learn and not judge other people who are who they are, how they are, what they do, what they don't do. Just beautiful. And I stood in the crowd with my husband and just like this, I moved my head towards the entrance and I saw that there was Steve Hardison with his amazing wife, Amy. And the entrance to the, to the stage was a guide, guarded by securities that wouldn't let anyone in. And from the entrance from the hotel, Steve Hardison came into the crowd and of course he everyone was there to see themselves through him to have this Steve Hardison experience so they would look at him and and greet him and all this and I saw him and I had this immediate calling go and say hi go toward and and I made myself small out of my very old wound saying no don't be too much don't do that and I in this moment I stood in the fire and I said what what is going on here, Hannah? No, you are following this very first impulse and you are okay being being you, showing up in being too much um, or being intense, as I say today. And so I just let myself be drawn by the pool, walking to him and he grabbed my arm and he looked at me and he said, hey, Hannah, where's your other half? He was like so delighted. And... I, I just grabbed Jade by he was standing behind me and grabbed him and I, I brought him towards him and Steve Harrison was looking at us. He was like so with us, so present. But there was this whole crowd, but no one mattered in that moment besides the three of us. And then he grabbed my arm even firmer and he said, Hannah, here's what we do. You're going to pull me into the into the main room where the stage is. I get my wife Amy, wait a second, and then you just drag me into this into the place right and I was like oh, oh that's so exciting right now because all the people want to say hi and I, I mean of course right and yeah he was just like yeah let's do this and he grabbed his a beautiful wife Amy and like the all four of us I kind of I, I, I kind of lead them into the room and the security was like no you're not allowed in here and I'm like I'm with the main character here this is the part and he was like oh yeah sure and so we moved in and hundreds of hundreds of people, we left them in the lobby. And so all the beautiful noise got so calm and there was the stage, an empty room. 
And just the four of us, Amy, Steve, Jay, and I were in it. And it has been such a beautiful experience. We looked at each other and it was just, it was just beautiful. We hugged and uh, he even picked me up from the ground. It was just amazing. And I asked Amy to sign my book, um, but not to sign it for me, but for her very best, not her very best. I, I asked her to sign my book with the I am statement that she feels right now most anchored with. And I'm going to edit uh, the, the, what she um, has been signing at the end of this video. I'm also having another one-on-one -on -one call just in a bit. So I want to keep it sweet and short uh, for the end of this video. But this has been, of course, such a beautiful and amazing experience to see myself in a different light. And Steve just repeated over and over, Hannah, this is what you did right now. This is you're doing. This is, you're in here. We have this moment because of you, because you have done this, because you have allowed yourself to do that. And yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm infinitely grateful for the hard lessons for both Steve and Amy. Um, not to say that Amy is a divine speaker. That's just, you have to hear her. It's amazing. Um, so, I think I want to end this, this video with, um, if you're seeking for a, uh, higher commitment towards your being, then what I can recommend to you is to read his book or to listen to his book and to not let yourself be guided and led by your old patterns that you may be led by your own statements of who you truly are. Let me end this video with reading my Dedication. I am pure creation. I create and move anything. I am that I lead myself into magical abundance. I am that I'm determined, determined <laughs> and committed to myself and anything that is part of my life. I am the ultimate mother, partner, lover and coach. I am pure femininity. I am that I create myself at any time, at any second. I am fearless, bold, and I stand up for what I want. I am that I forgive often and fast, especially myself, my husband, and my daughter. I am that nobody is worthy of my judgment, but everybody is worthy of my love and appreciation. Thank you, Steve, because this one I got from you. I am always okay. I am safe. I am open and soft in and outside. I am the portal to magic and aliveness. I am pure success. I am love and love runs through each of my cells. I am that I take care of my body, soul and mind. I am freedom. I am that I create a life rather than a living. I am gratitude. I am that I find God and the truth in magical silence. I am always surrounded by the infinite love of God, the divine, she or he who connects us all. I am that your life will be made better today for my having passed forward, I promise you. I am Hannah and my name means grace. And I have the book here and the note from uh, Amy Hardison, not from Steve. Steve is not signing books, but <laughs> that's all good. Um, the note from Amy Hardison here is, I'm constantly surrounded and sustained by the infinite love of God, Amy Hardison.